Hi, this is Johnny at Johnny Music here in Monterey Park, California. What you see here is a Yamaha French horn procured from the late Johnny Thompson Music, where it has served as a workhorse rental instrument for the local area music education community for quite some years. And as you can see, this instrument has seen better days. It's quite bashed up along the outer perimeter of the bell pipe here. The rotary valves uh, feels responsive, balanced, except for that third valve lever, it's almost completely unhinged. Strangely, that stop arm is completely on the wrong side of the strike iron and it's missing a screw. The slide feels good. Slide on top, very nice. Good slide, very good slide. The bell um, dents and dings here and there, but no biggie. Overall, for a 20 year old workhorse, it's fairly clean and feels quite solid. But let's get this fine Yamaha French horn workhorse all cleaned up, healthy, and qualified for the next lucky student, shall we? We'll start the disassembly process first by removing the bearing caps. Next, I turn the instrument over and I remove two of the three rotary valve spindle screws. One is missing. Of these two screws, one appears to be an original Yamaha part and the other an aftermarket. I next remove all six set screws, two on each lever assembly that hold in the rotary valve strings. And I remove the old strings. Next, I partially screw in all three brand new replacement rotary valve spindle screws help facilitate with this raw high mallet the removal of all three bearing plates and all three rotary valves. I again remove the rotary valve spindle screws. removal of the lever assembly and the slides for the full cleaning process. Next, I prepare hot water from the sink for the ultrasonic cleaner. The ultrasonic cleaner has its own water heater, however, Hot water from the gas water heater through the faucet is a far more efficient source. We at Johnny Music would like to go full solo power on these operations in the near future. As Johnny Music progresses and builds upon the infrastructure, we will have facilities for full immersion ultrasonic cleaning of these musical instruments. But for now, go to old fashioned elbow grease. Just because we ultrasonically clean these components, it don't mean there's no scrubbing to these. We still have to apply mandatory basic scrubbing to these ultrasonically cleaned components. Now that we are done with the full cleaning phase of this legacy rental Yamaha French horn, the next step in the rejuvenation or restoration work of this instrument is to determine what tools we will need to apply to get the very significant cosmetic damage done to the brass body and get it all looking nice and ready for its next serendipitous meeting with a French horn student. I will proceed with work in this phase of the repair job by opening up the collapsed throat of the forward part of this bell, which would help facilitate 
the use of this following tool. The P56 French horn dent ball driver, dent ball snake. Always use a strong magnet to determine the position of the dent ball inside the brass. It should never require too much energy or strength to force the dent ball past the dent. If too much energy is required, then take the ball back out, go one step size down with the dent ball and try again. A lot of extra work was demanded of this job as the brand new set of balls do not fit on the larger segments of the French horn dent ball driver. So for this particular job on this Yamaha French horn, all the dent ball sizes from 0.667 up to 0.750 had to be drilled out. Zero. Work on this French horn just became a whole lot easier as no additional modification work is required on these larger size dent balls. And one. This part of the bell pipe appears to be significantly flattened right above the reinforcement joint here. That's going to be especially hard to get to. Um, I shall make an attempt to work that up using this power disc in conjunction with the C60 sheet metal working machine. And I'll try to angle it to where I can push up um, and go as straight up as possible and then work my way back down into a round shape.
time of making this video presentation, Johnny Music only had these French horn dent rods intended for high-end, two-part professional style French horns. Nevertheless, we'll keep on rounding things off, smoothing things over, finessing, and keep on perfecting. Pull out all the stops. Not all the stops worked, although this one did. This configuration was almost perfect in attacking the rough spots on the inner circumference of the bell pipe closest to the inner branches. The 5 inch roller plus the 4 inch power disc, perfect for the bell. Final smoothing with the burnishing wand. Stripping off the old worn lacquer from the serviced work surfaces in preparations for brass polishing and ultimately area relacquering. Start the reassembly process by first installing the strike irons, the slides, you lubricate the rotary valves installed. A simple tool is made using washers, cardboard, and tape to help with the installation of the rotary valve bearing plates. The rotary valve spindle screws are installed, as are the bearing caps. With the lever bracket now installed. We now proceed with the reinstallation of the levers. Interestingly, replacing the French horn strings with high quality, heavy duty aftermarket strings proved to be quite tricky. Lighting the end of the strings and pinching the melted ends to form a sharp point so as to thread the strings through the tiny lever holes more easily was still very challenging. And finally, final adjustments to the lever action and angle. This concludes the first official video presentation from Johnny Music. Thank you all again for sharing your time with Johnny Music. Please stay tuned for more musically informative videos coming in the near future.